This is Michael Camber for the New York Times. As fighting continues to flare in the southern Iraqi city of Basra between the Iraqi army and various militias, deadly repercussions have spread north with Baghdad under a 24-hour curfew and fighting and airstrikes in Sadr City, a base of the Shiite cleric Muqtada al-Sadr. On Thursday, I traveled to Sadr City and witnessed civilians caught in the crossfire between American troops and Iraqi militiamen. According to U.S. military sources, an American helicopter killed four insurgents early Friday morning. The local hospital has already become crowded with wounded civilians. Violent protests began after the Iraqi government sent 30,000 soldiers and police to attack the Mahdi army, Muqtad al-Sadr's followers in Basra on Tuesday. The Mahdi army has fought them to a standstill. I saw young men in Sadr city roaming the streets with automatic weapons and grenade launchers. The violence following the Iraqi army's Basra offensive has put the entire country on edge. Even Baghdad's green zone, which had been quiet over the past month, is now getting pounded daily with rockets and mortars, killing at least one American this week. To quell the growing violence, on Friday, the Iraqi government extended until April 8th the amnesty that they had offered the Mahdi army to lay down their weapons in exchange for money. One of the keys to the security gains and relative peace of the past seven months was the ceasefire signed by Moqtada al-Sadr. Many fear that this is now in danger of collapsing. Come on, come on.